Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to find the minimum difference between any two elements in an array. So in this problem you will be given an unsorted array and you have to find the minimum difference between any pair in the given array. So let's look at the examples to understand the problem better. So for this example uh, we have the input array as this. So 1, 5, 3, 19, 18, and 25. So the minimum difference here uh, is 1. Why? Because that is the difference between the values of 18 and 19. So 19 minus 18 is 1. So that is the uh, minimum difference here. Okay, so let's look at the second example where we have the numbers 30, 5, 20, and 9. So here the minimum difference will be 4. Uh, that is the difference between 5 and 9. So 9 minus 5 is 4. So that is the minimum difference. Okay, let's look at the third example. So here uh, we have 1, 19, minus 4, 31, 38, 25, and 100. Uh, the minimum dif uh, difference is 5. That is between minus 4 and 1. So uh, note that uh, there can be negative numbers also inside the array. And uh, in this example, we had the negative number minus 4, which gave us the uh, minimum difference. That is minus 4, uh, that is 1 minus uh, minus 4, that is equal to 5. So the difference between 1 and minus 4 is 5, that is the minimum difference. Okay, so now uh, that we are clear with the problem, uh, let's uh, look at the uh, solution for it. So um, the method 1 will be a simple solution which will be doing the job in order of n square time complexity. So the simple solution is to basically use two loops. So let's look at the uh, driver function first. So inside the driver function, we have the input array. Uh, we calculate its size by dividing the size of array with size of the first element in the array. So that gives us the n, with, uh, which will be in this case 6. Uh, then we basically call the find a minimum difference by passing the array and its size and the return value we just print uh, by saying that the minimum difference is the returned value by this function find min difference. So okay, so let's get to the uh, find min difference function. So which takes as an argument the input array and its size. So we will we'll initialize the difference as infinite. So that would be the int max in this case. So uh, we, we, are, we are firstly initializing it to the maximum value and then uh, we will be narrowing it down to the uh, resultant difference. That would be the minimum difference. So we find the minimum difference by comparing difference of all the possible pairs in the given array. So this is a brute force algorithm where we are trying every possible permutation combination uh, to check the minimum difference. So we have two loops. So the first loop, i uh, i is equal to zero, i is smaller than n minus one, i plus plus. Then you have a second loop, uh, which uses the index variable j, which starts with i plus one, uh, less than n, and j plus plus. So here we check if the abstract uh, absolute value of the array i minus array j is smaller than the difference. If that is the case, we update the variable difference. Otherwise, we uh, let the next iteration uh, come and uh, then we, we, we keep on checking the absolute uh, value of the difference and we, uh, we keep on updating the value difference. So uh, in the end we'll be having uh, in the end of these uh, two loops we'll be having the minimum difference inside the diff variable. So we just return that and that value is uh, printed over here. Okay. So that, that was the solution uh, which was basically brute force, uh, brute force solution and did the, time, uh, did the job in the time complexity of order of n square. But uh, can we do better? So yes, we can do better and that would be a efficient solution uh, which will be doing the job in order of n log n time complexity. So let's look at the solution. So in this solution, the idea is to use sorting. Uh, let's see how we are going to do that. So in the first step, uh, we sort the array in ascending order, uh, which means that the array will be sorted from the smallest element to the largest element. 
So this step will take the uh, maximum time that is order of n log n time complexity. Uh, then uh, we'll initialize the difference as infinite. The, uh, this is the same step which we did in the previous method also. So that would take order of one time complexity. So that is much less. Uh, then we, uh, so th the second step is done. So then the third step will be to compare all the adjacent pairs in the sorted array and keep a track of the minimum difference. So uh, in this uh, solution, we are going to iterate over the array only once uh, in this third step. And we'll just uh, we'll just compare the difference between the adjacent pairs uh, because uh, that is the because it is a sorted array, and we just compare the difference with the uh, this uh, difference variable which we initialized as infinite in the second step, and we narrow down to the minimum difference that would be the solution. So let's look at the code. So the driver function remains the same, uh, only this. Uh, find min difference function changes, uh, but it still takes the same arguments, the array and its size. So we first of all uh, sort the array. So uh, we pass the array, uh, the first element of the array and the basically the last element of the array. So this will uh, sort the array in non-decreasing order, which is the increasing order. And uh, this job will be done in order of n log n time complexity. Once that is done, then we proceed to the second step where we initialize the difference as infinite. So that will be int max in this case. Again, say, uh, this is same as the in the previous method. Uh, then we just run one loop here. So this uh, loop runs with uh, which is having the index variable i, and it basically checks the difference uh, between the two subsequent elements with the difference variable. So if uh, the difference between the subsequent uh, integers is less than the diff variable, then we just update the diff variable with that value. And in the end, we just return the uh, minimum difference. So uh, the overall time complexity would be order of n log n because this step is done in order of n log n. This step is done in order of one and this step is done in order of n time complexity. So the total time complexity becomes order of n log n. So uh, in total, uh, we discussed two methods today. So the first method was a simple brute force algorithm. Uh, we did the job in order of n square time complexity. The second method was an efficient solution. We did the job in order of n log n time complexity. So that is all for this tutorial. Uh, you can visit this link to find out all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and also to run the code which we discussed in the IDE on the Geeks for Geeks website itself. Thank you very much.